Welcome to part one of my new tutorial, Creating a Simple Flash Website. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a very simple Flash website using ActionScript 3. This tutorial is created in CS4, but will probably still work in CS3, although there will be a few differences in the layout of the program. Right, let's get started with setting up the stage and the timeline. OK, to start with, if you're using CS4 and you're following this tutorial, I suggest you use the Essentials layout, as this is what I'm using, and it will be easier to follow the tutorial. So up here, make sure you've clicked the Essentials layout. OK, so to start with, we're going to create a new ActionScript 3 flash file by clicking here. And I'm going to go to Properties, and I'm going to set the stage size. So if I click Edit, and I'm going to change the stage size to 800 by 600. This is a good size to make sure it will fit on anybody's screen, but you could probably get away with bigger, but we'll just to stay on the safe side, we'll use this. So what we need to do is set up our timeline. We need four layers. So I'm going to click New Layer to create four layers. And I'm going to double click on the name and rename each of them. So I'm going to call the first one Actions, the second one Labels, the third one Pages, and the fourth one Buttons. It's a good idea to try and name all your layers just to make things easier to work with and clearer. So, what we need to do is start adding keyframes to define the different areas for different pages. So, on frame 11 of the Actions layer, if I right click and insert keyframe, and then on frame 21, right click and insert keyframe, and then on frame 30, as this is going to be the last page, we're only going to have three pages, right click and insert frame. Now we've got three distinct areas for each page. We can do the same with the next two. So insert keyframe, insert keyframe, and insert frame. Once more, insert keyframe, insert keyframe, and insert frame. But on the buttons layer, as the buttons go across all the pages, we don't need to do that. We're going to just insert frame so we have one long line going across all of the pages. So what we need to do is in the labels layer, we're going to give each page a unique label. Now this will help with the action script later. So click on frame one of the labels layer, make sure we're on properties, and in the name, we're going to call this one home. Click on frame 11 and we're going to call this one about and then click on this one and we're going to call it links there we go so it's really easy now to see which area belongs to which each page there we go so that's our timeline and stage set up OK, so the next step is to create the buttons. OK, so now would be a good time to save our project. So I'm going to just save this on the desktop for now and call it website. And we need to create our buttons. To do that, I'm just going to go insert new symbol. Make sure the type is button. And we're going to call this home underscore btn. So that tells us it's a button. Press OK. Now we go into a new window away from the main timeline. I'm going to click on the rectangle tool, choose fill colour. I just want it to be white and a line colour. Draw out from the central cross the size of the button I want. And then I'm going to use the text tool to add the text to the button. So this one's going to be home. Just need to change 
the color of the text and make sure it's centered align. Okay, get it centered. There we go. So the next step is to create the overstate. So this is the normal state. In the overstate, this will appear when the mouse hovers over it. So if we right click, insert keyframe, that makes a copy of it on this frame. And all we have to do is change something. So a simple change would be to change the font color. So I could change it to a light blue or something like that. So now we've got two different states. We've got the normal state and then the state when the mouse hovers over it. Now to get out of this view, I click back to scene one. I'm going to go to my library and you can see the home button. Now I need to right click on this and duplicate it so I can use it to create the next button. So I'm going to call it about underscore btn. There we go, we've got a copy of it. We double click on it to edit it. Double click on the text to edit that. So obviously we're going to change this to about. Click onto the overstate. We also need to change this manually as well. So change that to about. And there we go. I can go back to scene one again. Right click, duplicate. Call this one links underscore btn. Double click to edit. Double click to change the text links and links. Click back to scene one. Right, we've got our three buttons created. I'm going to click back onto the arrow and I'm going to drag the buttons onto the stage. But before that, we need to make sure we've got the right layer and frame selected. So I'm going to click on the buttons layer and I'm going to drag that onto the stage. And you see, as soon as I do that, that goes grey, which means that is going to go across the whole of the three pages. So get our about and our links, and then we can start aligning them and making sure that they all look even. OK, so there's our three buttons. Now, the final thing we need to do with our buttons is to give each one an instance name. So if I click on Properties, make sure I've clicked on my button. The instance, instance name is important because it is what the code uses to refer to each button. So I'm just going to call simply call this one Home. This one About. And this one Links. There we go. And I'm just going to save it.